Hey, it's day four of TGS. We've had a fantastic time here in Tokyo. And one of the things that we've noticed as we've walked around the floor is that Japanese gamers have a very different appetite for games than North American gamers do. And we want to give you guys a glimpse of Japanese gaming culture. Take a look. One thing that's been apparent about this year's show is how much the Japanese market is actually different from the North American market. Japanese spend a whole lot of time on trains here. That gives them a lot of downtime, a lot of time to actually open up their cell phones and just play some games while they're riding the train. As such, you're seeing a lot more support for mobile games here than you would see in North America. All the big franchises are coming out for mobile phones. We're also seeing a new Metal Gear game for mobile phones, which is huge because Metal Gear is also a really popular franchise in North America, but the chances of you actually seeing it there are probably pretty slim just because the North American market is just so much different from the Japanese market in that respect. One of the side effects of mobile gaming being so popular in Japan is that it's opened it up to a whole new audience. More companies are trying to reach out to the general gaming audience than ever before, and to do that, they're trying to create games that sort of are directed towards people's normal everyday hobbies. You know, if you like cooking, there's all kinds of cooking games here. There's a bunch of fitness games. If you like a certain thing, then the Japanese developer probably has a game about it. And it really speaks to how the market is changing, not only in Japan, but around the world. You know, some of these games have a pretty good chance of coming out in North America as well. For Japanese gamers coming to TGS, there's a few areas that they always make a beeline for. One of them is the Square Enix booth, and that's because Japanese love Square Enix RPGs. They love Final Fantasy. When you go to that area, you'll see that it's always packed. Another booth that's always jammed is Level 5's booth, and they've become a standout developer of RPGs. So really, the Japanese market is still very much focused on the old-style role-playing games, whereas the North American market has kind of stuck with the Western idea of RPGs. If you ever come to TGS, one of the things that you'll notice when they open the show up to the public is that there's a huge crowd in between both convention halls, and that crowd is actually for the cosplayers. It's been an annual sort of thing for Japanese gamers to come out to TGS and dress up as some of their favorite game characters. All kinds of RPG characters are out there. Some of them are pretty obscure because those games aren't out in the North American market. But it's crazy to see how much Japanese gamers just love these characters so much that they're willing to put together these really elaborate costumes, spend a lot of money on them, come out to the show, and have people line up just to take pictures of them. It's really amazing to see, and if anything, it continues to show how hardcore the Japanese market is when it comes to their love of video games. Well, that's it. The show's wrapping up. We had an amazing time at TGS 2007. We got a good taste of stuff that's coming up pretty soon, but also a lot of titles that are coming out in 2008. We want to thank Tokyo for having us and GameTap for sending us, and also you guys for watching. Make sure you come back next week. We're going to have lots of follow-up news stories on GameTap News, and there's lots of good games coming our way to play. Thanks.